So I am back with the latest Cyberpunk 2077 news, people. How's it going? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also, a week before this game's release, I'm giving away copies of Cyberpunk. To be in with a chance of winning one for yourself, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Good luck. So let's get right into it guys and firstly for those that don't know if you purchased a physical copy of this game just a standard version from your local retailer it seems you get a few extra goodies. Now I first saw this confirmed for PS4 and then had a quick look around and found that Xbox and PC also have the same goodies from UK's game retailer at least anyway. Now the extra goodies it comes with are case with game code and soundtrack CDs world compendium detailing the game setting and lore, postcodes from Night City, a map of Night City and stickers. The digital goodies include game soundtrack, art booklet featuring a selection of art from the game, Cyberpunk 2077 source book, wallpapers for desktop and mobile. But also exclusive to game from the UK you get more, exclusive Night City postcards. These it said are available from game only. So that's cool to know people out there who are grabbing a physical copy of the game. Check your local retailers and what they offer. Ok so moving on and next up we have information on the official guide for the game with a standard edition and a collector's edition. Thanks to piggyback for the details here, we see what each of these edition offers. Now the links here to purchase this are overseas for us UK folks, but I've checked with places like Amazon and they do deliver to the UK at least. So if you struggle to find any UK retailers selling this official guide, then at least you know you can get it from abroad. This is definitely going to be a purchase for me people 100%. Ok so moving on and next up guys we have the official Razer Viper Ultimate Cyberpunk 2077 edition gaming mouse. Now this was revealed a few days back and me personally I game on Xbox so I don't have much need for a gaming mouse of this caliber but people out there playing this on PC and maybe need a new gaming mouse? You might consider this, but well, that's if your pockets are deep enough as this little bad boy costs in the region of I think $200, $180, $200, so yeah, deep pockets are needed for this little gaming mouse, but it does look pretty cool. Ok so let's move on and enough of the news that costs money, I mean it would be great if I was getting sponsored, hint hint, but I ain't. Ok so reddit user Dominic2 took it upon himself to find all of the fast travel locations from the numerous trailers and gameplays we have seen so credit to him. Personally I haven't really thought about these too much, obviously they exist in the game and in the game world but I never really took notice of them and where they were located but you can see on screen now via these pretty high detailed images of where these are located while some of them that are spread across Night City and the Badlands. So credit again to Dominic2. Ok so moving on and we know of the official map which was leaked, so I'm guessing the map that comes with a physical copy of the game, but this map in the minds of many doesn't actually include the full surrounding areas. It's since been edited to what people actually believe more so will be what we should come to expect when the game releases. And while there's quite a difference here for sure considering the surrounding areas here ain't really empty. Now I don't know who the true creator of this map edit is, but if it is you hit me up on Twitter and I'll add you as the source. But yeah guys it's pretty big compared to the standard version, I mean as we did know there is a lot of that badlands we could explore and this I'm guessing is just the majority of it. Ok so moving on and next up Night City Wire Episode 4, it's coming Thursday October 15th and it covers vehicles, the looks, the sounds, the specs and more, so definitely tune in guys but if you don't and you miss it I will cover all the news you need to know right here on my channel. So if you are new around here watching this, definitely subscribe. Ok so next up, Cyberpunk's official Twitter showcased an amazingly detailed image of Norfolk and wow, it looks like a place you definitely want to explore. Now North Oak is a sub-district to Westbrook and Westbrook is home to many wealthy elites, celebrities and corporates and well it looks like this kind of place, pretty cool people, can't wait to actually check this place out in game. Ok and lastly guys, now I know it isn't happening, I know the game is being released on November 19th but actually people it was considered to be delayed again. A recently released podcast via Game Informer which I will link below if you want to check it out and watch the whole thing, it confirms the crunch story was blown out of proportion and some devs were even scared to celebrate Cyberpunk 2077 going gold but they did state CD Projekt Red did consider delaying again but the mass majority of developers supported extra day weeks for 6 weeks to get the game finished and ready for that release of November 19th. 
And while this in reality is the details, all these sources talking about the crunch missed out. So it seems. Now I've seen a few people who are regarded as good sources who did actually cover the crunch but missed out the part about the devs wanting to push forward with the game. And these sources, these reliable sources have stated this is BS. But at least now we know the other side of the story. Which is good to know. There's always two sides to a story people. But yeah, crunch or no crunch, the game is coming guys. And while that is it for today's news. Expect another video Thursday after Night City Wire was dropped with all the details you need to know from that. All sources of information from today though guys will be linked down below in that comments section. Also if you're new around here and are new to cyberpunk and want to learn more about the game, check out my cyberpunk playlist link below also. I've recently started covering the game and I've done it for basically the majority of people out there are just getting on board the cyberpunk bandwagon. But yeah on that note the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one